Hi YouTube. So I know it's been a while, but I haven't been doing a lot of videos. I've been focusing on college and family and just reinventing myself. So what I would like to say today is I am decided to restart the master cleanse. So um, this would be round two. The last master cleanse I did was about was a few years ago. And I lost a good amount of weight on it and pretty much kept it off. So that was really great. You don't hear a lot of stories where people lose weight and keep the weight off. So, of course, I gained back about two or three pounds during that time because, you know, you gain back water weight and a whole bunch of other things. But um, I decided to go ahead and do it again. So currently, I'm on day five. So, um... I don't know <laughs> pretty much what to say at this point because it is so much easier than the first time that you try. The first time that I tried, I had an amazing experience, but maybe because I'm in school and I'm always out and I'm barely in the house. When I say these last few days have flown by so fast, I'm like, oh crap, how many days have I done? And I keep getting mixed up and trying to figure out what day I'm on. I'm like, wow, I'm really on day five. Like, I can't believe it. So I got to keep going back and looking, trying to make sure that I'm really on day five. And it's only been a few days, but it just, I wake up five o'clock in the morning and I go, don't go to bed until about 10. So that's my daily schedule every day from five to 10. But because during that time, I'm catching trains, I'm going to class, I'm rushing to this class, I'm filling in this assignment, then I'm making my way to this train and going to this campus, It's it just flies by. So I would say, if you do the master cleanse, you're sitting at home all day, yeah, it would probably be kind of hard. That takes some serious motivation, serious dedication. But to talk about more along the lines of why I decided to do the master cleanse again is because I used to have really bad acne, really, really bad acne. Like the sides of my face were just black, just black. That's all I can say. Dark spots everywhere, seriously uneven skin tone, and it was just really, really bad. And as I got older, my acne started to clear up a little bit, but I, I couldn't get rid of the marks and just everything. It took anything and everything and nothing worked. So I realized drinking a lot of soda, eating a lot of foods, doing a lot of things, you know, that's intoxicating my body wasn't helping. And I can honestly say doing the master cleanse, I said I saw great results in my skin. My skin radiated and it just really glowed. And I said, wow, you know. I miss that feeling of my skin glowing and since the last master cleanse I've had well I haven't had any cigarettes or anything like that I quit smoking a while ago so I didn't have to worry about nicotine but I'm a big big coffee drinker when I say I drink coffee three four times a day it's really bad and on top of it you know I had a soda here fried foods here eating I'll eat ribs, but then balance it out, you know, with a walk or workout. It just depends on how much I ate. If I just ate a few, you know, pieces of a rib, then I'm like, okay, that's fine. But if I actually went in on the ribs, then I mean, I had to go to the gym and work all of it off. So, I mean, it's, it's a balance. I can honestly say it's a balance. But this year, 2014, I'm just really reinventing me. So, I decided to do the master cleanse for skin purposes for spiritual reasons, just to kind of get in touch with myself. And I honestly remember the first time I did the master cleanse, not having any cravings for sweets, not having any nicotine cravings. Um, what else back then? I was eating fried foods, not having any cravings for, you know, all the carbohydrates and everything. And it was a really good feeling coming off and not wanting any of that or being able to see my family eat food in front of me. And not even want it anymore, you know, by the time you get to a certain day. So, I made it to day 15 on my last master cleanse. And I really want to get to day 20 this time. So, I think 20 would be the maximum that I would do ever just for health reasons. I'm not sure why I would want to go beyond um, 15, I mean about 20 days. So, I think that would be the ultimate max. So, on a master cleanse, 
since I'm on day five, my tongue should be about white. Uh, yeah, looks about right. So my tongue is has this white coating, which means my body is actually starting to cleanse itself. So it's normally after day three is when your body really starts to get into the cleanse. So I'm doing the salt water flushes and making the lemonade mixture. And I decided, you know, that I'm going to make sure I stick to it. I'm going to drink all the lemonade mix and everything. And I remember the last time I did it, some days I had a little bit of lemonade mixture left over or I didn't feel like drinking it. But this time I make sure I do every teaspoon, every tablespoon to the exact, you know, precise just to see, you know, how my results come out weight loss wise and also how my skin comes out and how um, my appetite. Do I have any cravings? Do I have any mood swings or how am I feeling spiritually and I think it's actually going to be a pretty good journey because so far it's day five and I'm feeling great and today I've been a little more tired than usual but um the last four days were amazing no energy loss nothing but today I've been a little tired but I have been doing more running around than I normally would do so that could be another reason why. And then on top of not having any food intake. So I know I haven't done a video in a while. I'm trying to think of anything else that I really want to cover. Um, also, I might as well while I'm on this video. So I decided to start a pescatarian lifestyle shortly after I finished the master cleanse before. And... I didn't start it immediately. What I was doing, I decided to plan, to continue to plan what my meals would look like because I know if I jump right into it, I would probably in a few days wind up eating meat or doing something. So I did a lot of planning, like months of planning, you know, what I would eat, what, what I would cook, what, what would I do if I got an intense craving or I was out somewhere and I really wanted something. I kind of put myself in a lot of scenarios and gave myself a backup plan pretty much. And about close to a year I decided I'm not going to eat meat anymore I, I'm ready and I think this is what I really want to do so I haven't had meat in months like it's been a long time since I had meat I have to look back at the precise date but I know it has to be close to about eight months or so since I've had meat and I feel great like number one the weight loss is amazing when you stop eating meat it just fell off and I didn't even notice it until I finally stepped on the scale. Because eating, stop eat, my decision to stop eating meat was not based on weight loss. Like, it was actually for, it was the darn PETA. PETA will get you. <laughs> and that's pretty much what it was. Watching PETA videos will make you feel so sorry for the life force that you are eating. And then, and then spiritually, um... You know, I was going through a lot of blogs and speaking to people that are spiritualists and the information that I received and talking about, you know, if you eat, some of these animals have passed away and then their meat, you know, was carved from them or they was deceased or they can rot on top of each other or they have been living in foul conditions. And how are you going to eat meat or eat, you know, a life force? That wasn't happy. It was full of negativity. Full of, you know, lived a really bad life. You're ingesting, you know, just taking that spiritual energy, which is not positive from another life force. Or that previously died before the meat was even carved. Or, you know, produced or, you know, shipped off to the factory. I mean, I just, altogether, I just thought to myself, you know what? I eat ribs. I eat steak. I eat that. But... It wasn't as much as most people. And I said, hey, why not try it? Just go meatless Mondays. Or let's try just not having meat, you know, this week at all. And it just decided to go curl turkey at one point to say, you know what? I'm not going to dish out any food groups like not eating pork and then going down to chicken and going down. I decided to just say, you know what? I think I can do this all together. So I really, really um, feel more energized when it comes to not eating meat so that's really good and I'll make a separate video about some of the things that I decided to cut out of my life like um, of course cigarettes and how I did it um, I no longer drink coffee and it's been a few months 
So how I did that and how I beat, you know, some of the cravings as well as I stopped eating meat. Um, what else happened? Oh, I switched to all natural products. So for the last couple months, I make my own deodorant and no. I used to think all the time that if you make your own deodorant, you're going to walk around smelling like a hoagie. I don't know where I got this from. Maybe smelling other people. But maybe they didn't put deodorant on at all. But I make my own de deodorant and I can, you know, maybe make a video for some recipes if anyone's interested. But I make my own deodorant. I use um, Dr. Bronner's All Natural Soaps. And I make some of my own soaps, you know, out of other, like, different type of soaps. And I can make a tutorial on that if someone else is interested. But just living all natural has been really healthy for me. And I feel like it first started with the journey to deciding deciding to go um, all natural with my locks. And I think that's really what started my journey. And then a journey is not meant to be fast. It's meant to be slow. So... Year after year, I kind of just take one or two things I really want to focus on, and I do that. And 2014 is about me. And I really hope that you guys decide, you know, to follow me, and I can make more videos. I don't mind, you know, requests if you want to know something. And I can be prompt with emailing. So let me know how you feel. This video is already very long because it's an update and a compilation of everything. But, um, bye YouTube.